Hey guys, it's Johnny Bowden. Today I want to discuss a new report that just came out from the Institute of Functional Medicine, and it's called a Functional Medicine Approach to COVID. This is really important, and most of you probably will never see this report because it's only circulated in academia and among nerds who like to read really statistically, technically difficult reports about stuff, but there's such valuable things in this about nutritional supplements, botanicals, nutraceuticals that are useful uh, during COVID, and I'll explain what that means in a minute, that I really want to discuss the findings of that report with you. And since most people are not gonna read it, I am going to translate it into English that we can all understand because it's really important stuff. Uh, the first thing you need to know is what's functional medicine. Uh, for those of you who haven't heard me talk about this before, don't know what it is, I'll give you a fast definition. Functional medicine, is the study of how everything in the human body and mind work together. How do we function? It's not a specialized kind of, uh, I'm a hand specialist, I'm a shoulder specialist, I'm a thumb specialist, I'm a heart specialist. It's like, how does the heart talk to the gut? How does the gut talk to the brain? How does the brain talk to the adrenals? How do the adrenals talk to the thyroid? It's how does everything function together? So functional medicine doctors and nutritionists are the best if you have symptoms and syndromes that <laughs> conventional medicine can't quite identify and they don't know what it is and there's no exact uh, label for it or exact drug for it, functional medicine doctors figure it out. The best uh, definition I ever heard of, of what functional medicine is was from my, my friend Chris Kresser, who you can find online, brilliant guy, and he said, uh, well look, if you go to a regular doctor with a pain in your foot, he'll give you a prescription for pain. If you go to a functional medicine doctor, he will say, take that shoe off and sock off, let's see what's causing the pain. So it's a very different approach. It's not a symptom-oriented approach. It's a, it's a holistic or functional approach. So when the Institute of Functional Medicine looks at supplements, they're not necessarily looking at, hey, if you take this, you won't get COVID. Or if you take this, it will cure it if you do get it. No. And they're very clear about that. What they look at is how does the body function when presented with a viral challenge? What processes are initiated from the immune system and how are they supported by different nutraceuticals? So it's looking more at how to boost the functioning of the immune system in the face of this challenge. And that's why this report is so great. Um, I'm not actually gonna read you some of the stuff from it because a lot of the supplements in here um, are things that I've been talking about and that we've been recommending for, for quite a while. Don't be overwhelmed by the number of them that they talk about because this isn't about doing every single one of these or putting every one of these supplements on your plate. It's about kind of getting a multifaceted approach to immunology, to your own immune system's functioning. And what can we do to support that? Because that's really all we have to work with. You know, there's a lot that's unknown about this virus, but there's not a hell of a lot that's unknown about the human immune system. So let's work with what we can control and boost that in the best ways that we can. And that's why I think this report is so good because it is so science-based. And I'll tell you exactly what they found. Here are the nutraceuticals that the Institute of Functional Medicine feels has good evidence for viral-specific activity that could be very useful to us in fortifying our own immune system. So the first one on the list is quercetin. Quercetin is a flavonoid. It's found in onions and apples. It's also found as a supplement. And according to the Institute, uh, it promotes viral eradication or inactivation. So quercetin, very good. Usually recommended about 1,000 milligrams a day or 500 milligrams twice a day. The second thing that the Institute lists is curcumin. We've talked about curcumin a lot. Curcumin is the extract of turmeric, and turmeric is the spice that makes your curries yellow. It's the spice that makes Indian food yellow. Um, it's a rich orangey yellow spice and the active ingredients in that, when extracted, are called curcumin and they have powerful effects throughout the body. We could do an entire video on what curcumin does for the liver and all the other things that it, it impacts, but in this context, it is specifically said to favorably modulate viral-induced pathology. It's pretty good. So they recommend about 1,000, 500 to 1,000 of biologically available curcumin. We'll talk about how you can find the best of all these things at the end. Uh, the next substance on there may be unfamiliar to you in its scientific name, but it certainly isn't unfamiliar to you in its food name. The scientific name is epigallocatechin gallic, or 
known as EGCG for good reason, so people don't have to pronounce that. And what it really is is green tea extract. So green tea has all these compounds. We've been telling about green tea for years and years, and, and, and most of those compounds are called catechins, and this EGCG is one of the most uh, powerful of them. It has some anti-cancer activity, it has some anti-obesity activity, just great stuff. And what it has in terms of uh, help for your immune system is that it favorably modulates viral-induced pathology. That's a pretty important thing. Uh, you know, that's when these things are said to do that and there's evidence for them, you want to pay attention to that. The next thing on the list is NAC, N-acetylcysteine. This is an antioxidant that has particular affinity to the upper respiratory system. It also can produce more glutathione in the body. That's a very important natural antioxidant. So it has a, a number of effects. And in this context, it's said to favorably modulate cellular defense and repair mechanisms. So it helps the cells defend against invaders like viruses and also to repair themselves so the damage isn't so great. The next compound on the list is resveratrol. You may have heard of resveratrol as an anti-aging compound. It has a lot of evidence for that. There's a lot of wonderful things, but it's also found to be a great anti-inflammatory and antioxidant. In this case, resveratrol favorably modulates viral-induced pathological cellular processes. And there's evidence for that, again. Then we have vitamin D, thank goodness they mentioned vitamin D. I had no doubt that they would, but I love that they recommended the same dosage that I recommend, which is in the absence of a blood test that will tell you exactly uh, where you should start with supplementation, default recommendation, 5,000 IUs a day. That's what I recommend. Um, there's a particular vitamin D product that I love because it's combined with K2. I'll talk about that a little bit later, but vitamin D, 5,000 IUs a day, just get it from a really high quality manufacturer. Um, melatonin is next on the list. A lot of people don't realize that melatonin does a lot more than just prevent jet lag. It's actually a powerful antioxidant. I wrote about in my book, uh, The Most Effective Ways to Live Longer, I, I wrote about the interesting fact that blind women don't get breast cancer. And the reason for that is widely believed to be uh, that they release so much more melatonin, which is protective of cancer on some level. So melatonin, what does it do? Once again, favorably modulates viral-induced pathological cellular processes. This is what you want. You want a good defensive army. It's like putting together a team, you know, in sports. Vitamin A, most of us get this in our multiple. They recommend up to 10 to 25,000 uh, IUs. And some of the specific things that vitamin A does is it modulates T helper cells. It modulates uh, something called Sig A and it modulates cytokine production. Now, what is cytokine? Cytokines are those inflammatory processes that cause all the damage. So you want them, when you need them, you need those inflammatory cytokines because they're part of the immune system, but you don't want them running wild or all kinds of really bad stuff happens. And finally, there's elderberry extract. I've talked about that a zillion times. I talked about it on TV. The, the brand I like is Sambuco. You can get it at CVS. It's a great extract that really does, in terms of, of, of past research, we know that it cuts the number of days that you're out with the flu. So it does do something for symptom length and severity. We know that. Does it work with COVID? Don't know. But according to the Institute, we know that it favorably modulates cellular defense and repair mechanisms, and it modulates viral-induced pathology. That's pretty strong. And the final one is vitamin C. Everybody knows that, one to three grams a day. So the science on this stuff is good. And I want to encourage you not to think of these things as things that prevent COVID or treat COVID, but as things that help your immune system function optimally. And I've said this a million times. You get a hurricane coming down the south coast of, uh, of Florida, it's going to knock out some of the houses, but some of them are going to still be standing. You can't do anything about the hurricane, but you can build your house stronger. And this is the stuff that builds our house strong. Now, People ask me all the time where to get supplements. I did a video about it. The only thing I really want to say here is that you want to get what we call prescriber grade supplements. Nothing makes me sad. Well, it's not true that nothing makes me sad, but I get really sad when I hear people tell me about supplements that they tried and they say, oh, that stuff didn't work. And I find out they're using the wrong dose. They're using a crummy form of it. They're using something that is likely expired that was on the bottom shelf of some big box store. You've got to use the stuff that's been vetted and tested and assayed. You know, 
Uh, and, and we used to call these doctors brands because they're just not available in CVS and, and, and Walmart and stuff like that. They're just not. Once in a while, there's one or two brands that makes the crossover. Doctors sell them and they're available in the store. Barlings and Jarrow are two examples of that. But they're very few. Most of the time, the doctor brands are just, they're, they're artisan. They're made in small batches. They're heavily tested and they're called assays, lab assays, to make sure they have everything that they say they're gonna have in them. And those brands are usually only available through doctor's offices or through professional pharmacies. In the video that I made on where to buy supplements, I tell everybody that you can sign up for your own account at Wellevate Pharmacy. The way you do that is you go to wellevate.com slash Johnny Bowden. There's no H in Johnny. You have to sign up under a clinician's umbrella account. Most clinicians have uh, umbrella accounts like this and find one of them or use mine. Go to wellevate.com slash put my name in. It will prompt you to set up your own account, your own password, all of that stuff, and you can browse the entire catalog. I don't know how many thousands of products they have, but all of them have been vetted. They were all health prescriber quality. Um, we can discuss brands and, and which forms I use. I'll do other videos on that. But the point is you cannot go wrong buying any of the brands on that pharmacy. And I, I recommend it very, very highly. I have been involved with some companies that wanted to get carried by the Well of Eight Pharmacy, and I know what they had to go through. I know the testing and the rigmarole and the paperwork. I mean, they do not take just anybody. Not only that, but even getting into the pharmacy, being carried by the, a brand being carried by the pharmacy is a, a kind of a badge of, yeah, this is excellent. Even beyond that, they have a gold and platinum certification uh, where they do even more tests and even more vetting for things that the government doesn't require, nobody requires, but they do anyway. And they give that you know platinum and gold certification to products that are already there. They're sort of like the super hosts on Airbnb. You know, Airbnb is great, but some people just have like amazing reviews and they've been vetted 5,000 times and stuff like that. So, so Willoughby has brands like that, but you really can't go wrong with any of the brands. That's where I get all my stuff, designs for health, vital nutrients, metagenics, uh, yeah, brands you probably haven't heard of, but they're all like really that quality. So go there and buy whichever of these uh, strikes your fancy, whichever ones make sense to you. Listen uh, to other videos about these different compounds. See what is you know resonating with you. You can't go wrong with any of them. I use many of these every single day. Quercetin certainly, um, resveratrol, uh, vitamin C, vitamin D, zinc, all of the standard ones, and I get them all from the World of Eight Pharmacy. So that's the report from the Institute for Functional Medicine. It's an institute I take very seriously. I take their recommendations very seriously. They are science-based, they are evidence-based, and they are functional, meaning they don't just look at symptoms. They look at how you function, how I function, and that really is all we have to work with. This is Johnny Bowden, and I hope you like this. Please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, all that good stuff. Visit my website, sign up for my newsletter. It's J-O-N-N-Y-B-O-W-D-E-N.com, and I look forward to engaging with and answering questions from you.